let's try importing from the math module using the methods that we just talked about. Before I actually run the first cell here, I want to show what will happen if we don't import from the math module. So I'll click on the second cell here and ask it to run the square root function. You notice that I get an error because it says square root is not defined. So if instead I run the first cell, then nothing apparently happened. But now if I run the second cell, it tells me what the square root of 2 is. So what's happened here is I've essentially gone to a program somewhere else called math.py, found a function in that file called sqrt, and I've essentially added that to the code here that's in my in environment. Um, but I, even though I don't see it on the screen here, essentially that code is now a part of my script. And this will remain a part of the environment for the rest of this session. So if I want to run this cell again by changing the number, you can see I don't have to go back and redo the import statement. It only needs to be done once. Now, uh, the second option is to just import the entire module. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, uh, what I've done is um, first imported a constant, which is just a part of the module. It doesn't actually do anything like a function. It's just simply a value. And the math module includes the value of pi. So I'm going to go ahead and print that. And then I'm going to use a different function from the math module, the cosine function. So let's see if that works. All right, there's my value of pi. And here is the cosine of pi. Here is the third method. Let's uh, import the math module, but this time we're going to abbreviate it as m. So I will go ahead and run that. Now I'm going to ask for the base 10 log of 1000 by using the abbreviation. And I can see that it's 3. Let's try changing it. You can see I don't need to re-import the module. I can just continue to use it. And even though I've essentially imp imported uh, information from the module three different ways, um, they don't interfere with each other. I can still use the square root function by itself or use functions by the full module name or by the abbreviated name. If I run this cell, they all do exactly the same thing.